So you may be wondering, how did Nick's buffalo wings change Mian's life? That is because I would avoid eating buffalo wings at all costs because it would simply be too spicy and taste like pain. You know the pain I'm talking about. The kind of pain where you just don't enjoy it because the heat's too much. After trying Nick's buffalo wing sauce, that changed my experience. And his recipe may be the only one I'll eat. Let me show you his recipe. To start, let's add in our chicken drums. The recipe is called buffalo wings and he's showing drumsticks and look what I have instead. Bruh. First put a couple cups of buttermilk. Nick DiGiovanni has a nice ring to it. Sounds like a gen 1 boss from Pokemon. Nick Giovanni, Giovanni, it's me Giorgio Giovanni. Some pickle juice. And I've never used pickle juice before, but since it's Nick, I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust the process. This liquid color looks kind of suspicious. We'll start with about two thirds cup of hot sauce. I have here Frank's hot sauce. I can't help but sniff the little jar and then pour it in. An entire stick of butter. That At this point, I'm guesstimating this looks about a stick of butter or a little less, but that should be fine. Next, I'll add about a third cup of mayonnaise. I really should measure how much I'm putting this in. White vinegar. Some toilet cleaner. Worcestershire sauce. This is the sauce that makes everyone starter, aka starter sauce. A little sprinkle of truffle salt. I don't have bougie salt. A pinch of cayenne pepper. Sprinkle some cayenne pepper in. And just a little bit of garlic powder. Sprinkle some garlic powder. Usually you'll end up with a creamy, mouth-watering buffalo sauce. My sauce looks like lava, but it looks done to me. About a cup and a half of potato starch. I couldn't find potato starch, but after googling around, cornstarch does the same job, so we'll use that. Some garlic powder. Sprinkle some garlic powder. A couple teaspoons truffle salt. I really should invest in some bougie salt. A few teaspoons of onion powder. Some onion powder. A little chili powder. Some chili powder and a little bit of skin in there. Fresh cracked pepper. Some fresh ground peppers. Then I'll take my mini whisk. Whisk this up a little bit. Where did he get that tiny whisk? Anyways, I have my whisk here. Let's start whisking. Toss my chicken into the potato starch. Let's start coating all of the chicken wings. I need to double fry my wings. Nick, they're not wings. They're drumsticks you hold on to. I can't figure out how to turn off the sound from the thermometer. So I decided to just turn off the low gadget. Fry till they're golden brown. These are the crispiest babies you've ever seen. Then fry the second batch at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until it becomes golden brown. I was actually never a believer of double frying, but after experiencing it firsthand, I can see that it's really crispy. My hands are really no longer sensitive to heat. So I Sheesh! My man Nick showing off his iframes. Pour a nice coat of buffalo. Toss these babies around a little bit. What he really meant was, don't toss babies around, toss the wings. Now it's finally time to taste the wings. I've been looking forward to it. The wings looks really sauced up and it feels like it too. These wings are packing a lot of flavor. It's tangy and spicy, but not to the point where it actually hurts. It's actually enjoyable. It must have been from the ingredients we've added to mellow out the hot sauce. It's actually quite good. I've eaten many Flamingo brand buffalo wings and they're pretty trash. Compared to Nick's buffalo wings, it's night and day. So far my favorite and I recommend you trying them out. I would rate Nick's wings are perfect 10 out of 10. I'm just a fan of his wings. They taste very good and I can see myself making more in the future. Do you like Nick? Do you like his recipe? Have you tried making his buffalo wings? Let me know. That's all I have for today. Thank you for passing by.